This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, you're going to learn how to track WordPress categories and tags with analytics, and we'll show you the easy way to do this. Tracking your categories and tags in analytics will give you a good overview of which ones are your most popular categories and which ones you want to spend a little bit more time on. So if you're ready, let's dive in. For this video, we're going to be using Google Analytics with Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best and easiest way to connect your Google Analytics account with your website. And with the free version, you can get it set up and running and you'll be getting data like your most popular posts and things like that easily. And then when you're ready to take your analytics to the next level, then you'll want to upgrade your Monster Insights to the paid version. We'll be using the pro plan to access the custom dimensions. When you're ready to set up Monster Insights, make sure you use their promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on Monster Insights. Once you set all that up, I'm going to walk you through the whole process of installing the plugin. We will do the light and then I'll show you how easy it is to add your license key and then it will automatically go out and upgrade to the pro version. So we can go to our plugins area and we'll click add new. We'll search for Monster Insights. This is the one we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click install. You'll want to also stick around to activate it as well. Once you do that, we can go to Insights and we'll go to Settings. Once you've gotten your pay plan on monsterinsights.com, you'll want to make sure that you get your license key for it. So we'll copy that and we can head back over to Monster Insights, scroll down to the license key area where we can go and paste it. Click Unlock Pro Features Now, and then it will go out and connect and upgrade to the Pro version. Once you do that, you'll also want to make sure that you authenticate if you haven't done this with the Lite version yet. So go in and authenticate the Monster Insights Pro. This is connecting it to your Google Analytics. And if you want to, you can watch our video on all the steps, the step-by-step -step on how to install Google Analytics with WordPress, and you can check out that video up here. So we'll go out and connect our Google Analytics with our website. And now that should all be good to go. And now what we want to do is go over to the add-ons area. And we need to install a particular add-on called Dimensions. The Dimensions add-on is what allows you to track authors, categories, tags, searches, users, and a whole lot more. So this is added functionality to your Google Analytics. Once we've installed the add-on, it also automatically will activate it. And now we can go to our settings area and we need to click on conversion so we can set some things up. Once you're here, you want to click on the add new custom dimension. And this is where you can set up your categories and tags. So I'm going to click on category and it'll give it an ID. We can add a new custom dimension. I'll do tag and it'll give this ID here. Then once we're done, let's go up here and click save changes. Great. Now that we have that set up with our Monster Insights and our website, we need to do the same thing in Google Analytics itself. So you'll want to open up a new tab and head over to analytics.google.com and scrolling all the way down at the admin area, we want to click on admin so we can set up custom dimensions. Under our property area, we need to scroll down and look for custom definitions and then pick custom dimensions. Now let's click new custom dimension and we'll name it category for the first one. And the scope is we want it to be a hit and we want to keep it active. So let's go ahead and click create and you'll see this information. And because of Monster Insights, you don't have to worry about that. So let's just click done. Otherwise you'd have to go through and figure out where to put all of that. So we want to do the same thing for tags. So let's do custom dimensions again and type in tags. We want it to be a hit and let's make it active. Let's go ahead and create this. Again, we don't have to worry about the extra code. So let's click done. Great. And now we have these two. Now you'll want to make sure that the index IDs are the same here as they are where we were in our tags area. So you want to make sure that these two match up with these two, which they do. And now that's all set up. So when people actually click on our categories page or our tags page, then we will be able to see that under reports. So we'll go to reports and we'll go to dimensions. And then those will show up here. And because we set these up, we now see these dimension reports coming in. 
Okay, so now that we have it to where we're tracking, how can you improve your category and tag pages in WordPress? Well, there's a couple of things that we can do, and let me show you what those are. First, we can use excerpts instead of the full posts. By default, WordPress will show full posts on your category and tag archive pages, and some themes provide a solution that allow you to choose between full and summary. You can do that also on your own by installing and activating an advanced plugin called advanced excerpt plugin. So let's go to plugins, add new, and we're looking for advanced excerpt. And we can install this one and also activate it. And what this will do is allow us a little bit more control over how our posts look. Right now that it's here, we can either go to settings here, or if you ever need to come back, go to settings, excerpt, and then here you can choose the excerpt length and then everything else is good to go. So just make sure you click save changes and then all the posts on your category page will show an excerpt. For instance, let's go to view. So for instance, I'm on the uncategorized category page and I'm scrolling through and these are excerpts of all of the pages. Otherwise they would show the full width or the full length of it. So now it's just, cutting off and only showing pieces and parts of it. The other way that you can improve this is this is the category page and then these are all the posts under it. You can improve the category and tag by adding descriptions to the categories. So let me show you what that looks like. So now we're in category and I only have one, but you can edit this and you see this is the name, this is the URL, the slug or what comes up in the URL. So add meaningful and helpful information about this category and basically give you an overview of what all the posts are about under this category and that should help as well. So for instance, when we click update and then when we view this category, we get a better idea of what's going on with this page and this category. And it just lets users and Google or search engines know what exactly this category is all about. So that's a really good way to help as well. So that's a great and robust way on how to track WordPress category and tag analytics for your WordPress website. And thanks for watching.